Today what we're gonna do is just something really simple. It's gonna be a scorcher today, over 100 degrees, which really sucks actually. But um, this, I got, I was over in Seattle and a friend of mine had all these, um, had a great fig tree. We can't grow figs over here in this neck of the woods, but they do over in Seattle. So before they, uh, they are basically getting overripe right before my very eyes. So I am just going to be cutting these up into strips and putting these on these hot rocks. I just happen to have hot rocks on the trailer that I'll use for landscaping. But I'll lay those out, cut those into strips. You gotta cut them out the strips so that it, uh, the moisture content evaporates and they get nice and chewy. And then uh, they'll last forever, actually. And uh, frog's gonna uh, do quality control. Just a quick one, but something you can do with all your different kinds of fruits. Um, pears, surpluses of apples. Bananas work really great. Uh, if you're in the tropics, mangoes, of course, and all that sort of stuff. So sun-dried, uh, great. And then, yeah, you can carry them with you and eat them, which you already know. Okay, bye. There you go. Lay them all out, just like that. And if you want to know something interesting about how figs are, um, read about how figs are actually an inside-out flower. There's an amazing natural history about figs and wasps. If you don't already know that either. Okay, let's see what the sun does. If you like what you've just seen, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.